Jesus said, woe to you if all men speak well about you, because so they did about the false prophets too. Woe to you if all men speak well about you, because so they did about the false prophets too. But all true prophets have always been persecuted. Right through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. All true men of God, or women of God, or true prophets or apostles were persecuted. Bad mouth. Woe to you. You must start to worry if people speak well about you all the time. I will worry. Praise the Lord, they don't do it about me. So, goodness and favor will follow you. Blessings, breakthrough, prosperity will follow you. Breakthrough will follow you together with persecution. Jesus said so. Jesus said, you will do great, greater things than he has done. But no disciple is above his master. What did he mean? Say to the guy next to you, no disciple is above his master. Ask the guy next to you, what did he mean? Many people don't understand the scripture. He said, if they persecuted me, they will persecute you. Give Jesus a hand. No disciple is above his master. Don't think there was, if you're a true Christian following Jesus, don't think everyone will speak well about you. You think, oh, you tell him about blessing, you tell him about salvation, oh, they're all going to love you. Faith join you to his strength. So he's saying you are more than conquerors in all these things. What things did the Bible speak here about? About persecution, difficulty, hardship. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthened us. My faith joined me to his strength. Say, my faith joined me to his strength. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Christian can get a slap or two. Boom, boom. Can be knocked down a couple of times. They can knock you down, but they cannot knock down the one in you. You can be knocked down, but the one in you cannot be knocked down. So your faith should always rest in Jesus is the emphasis. Some Christians will say it like this. I'm more than a conqueror. Through Christ who strengthened me. The emphasis is Christ. They can knock you down. But they cannot knock him down in whom you trust. They can knock you down. Many times maybe. But when you is the one who's got the resurrection power. Who will always raise you up again. By the power of his blood. Say to God next to you. They can knock you down. But the one in you. They cannot knock down. He will raise you up. Amen. His resurrection power will lift you up every time. You don't give up. You will always be more than a conqueror. The guy who believes and keep on believing, he will always be on the winning side. Say to the guy next to you, hey, hold on. Don't give up. Say again, hold on. Don't give up. In Jesus' name. If you get knocked down, they can knock you down. But the one in you, they cannot knock down. I speak about devils and demons. Your fight is not against flesh and blood, but against that devil. Give Jesus' hand. I don't like devils, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say to the guy next to you, hold on. Do not shrink back. Do not draw back. Hey! Moody track track me. Stand fast and say no. Hallelujah. The Christian never shrink back because God is not pleased with the one who shrink back and who draw back. We are all tempted sometimes to draw back, shrink back, want to give up, da, 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 da. run away, flee, yeah, want to flee there. Think you're going to get away? You only move when God tells you to move. God will protect you wherever you are if you're in his will. Say to the guy next to you, you don't flee. You don't draw back. You don't shrink back. The only time you move is when God clearly speaks to you. 
in Jesus' name. The Bible says he is not pleased with the one who shrink back, but he is pleased with the one who exercises great faith in the face of persecution and difficulty and who keep on believing.